years. Local 22's Mike Coey live at the hospital this evening. He has more on contract talks going on right now. Lauren, Bernie, those talks are going on inside the medical center as we speak. We're just outside the main entrance. The nurses' union says this labor dispute is a matter of priorities. The president of the hospital says it may be more about budgeting. The nurses' struggle is our struggle. More than 50 people from area labor unions showed their solidarity Monday afternoon in support of the nurses at UVM Medical Center. The Teamsters, the Green Mountain Labor Council, and faculty unions at UVM and Champlain College were just some of the groups. The lead negotiator for the nurses says the 24% wage increase they're asking for will help the hospital fill nursing vacancies. We have 170 open positions, um, and we also need those people that are the experienced nurses to teach the younger generation. So um, we are advocating for 1,800 people over a three-year contract, and so we recognize that it has a big price tag. The nurses say they're seeking wage parity with their counterparts at CVPH in Plattsburgh. The hospital makes $1.2 billion a year for the network. So they have never said they can't afford our wage proposal. Um, they have inferred that we are not worthy, and so we are saying we are worthy of what our counterparts in Plattsburgh make. UVM Medical Center President Eileen Whalen says if the hospital paid nurses the same way CVPH does, more than a third of the nurses would swallow a pay cut. We've spent quite a bit of time analyzing CVPH's wage uh, and salary uh, steps. And we believe that it would really disadvantage a significant number of our nurses if we were to adopt that scale. The medical center needs to present a budget every year to the Green Mountain Care Board and then hold itself to it. Our budget uh, is already complete for uh, fiscal year 19. We will be in front of the Green Mountain Care Board in August. And uh, what the union is asking for is considerably higher than what we budgeted over the next few years. There's no indication of how long tonight's face-to-face -face negotiating session may go, and that's important face-to-face -face talks as opposed to using a mediator like Friday's session did. There is going to be another round of talks tomorrow here at the Medical Center starting at 4 p.m. We'll have more for you at 7 o'clock, but for now, live from UVM Medical Center in Burlington, Mike Hoey, Local 22 News. Mike,